Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about how to last longer in bed. This is such an important topic because I hear again and again from both men and women that they want sex to last longer. And there are some really proven techniques, simple things that you can do starting today that are going to help make your love making go for longer and they're also going to mean that your partner is more likely to reach the big O. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you keep on watching. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything wrong? Now, if you are a long time subscriber to this channel, you will probably know already about the fact that people with vaginas tend to take a lot longer to get to orgasm during partnered sex than people with penises. And this is really interesting because research tends to show that when both men and women masturbate, they actually get off in about the same amount of time. Most women can get to climax in as little as four minutes during solo sex, but during partnered sex, that number can quadruple or more. Many women need 20 minutes or longer to get to orgasm when they're having sex with a partner. And one of the main reasons for this is because there is a strong connection between the brain and the genitals. This means that if you are in a stressed out state, if you are feeling a bit anxious, if you're feeling a bit conscious about the way your body looks, if maybe you're not physically comfortable because the room is cold, the lighting is too bright, whatever it is, your genitals will not get in the game. They will not do what they need to do in order to make sex comfortable and pleasurable and orgasmic. This is why sexual length matters. Now, this is not a case against quickies. Your girl is all for a quickie. I love a good quickie. Quickies can be great fun. I think most of us can agree with that. But if you care about your partner's orgasm and you want to have more connected, more pleasurable sex, sex that allows your partner to have that important time in order to be able to relax, then it is important that at least every so often you are having sex that is extended. I'm talking about sex that lasts for half an hour. And we know that most couples are not getting anywhere near that. And there are some really specific things you can do to make the sex last longer. And I'm going to go through them now, starting with my top hack. It is so wonderful for me when I find a product that I genuinely love and that I consistently in my personal life recommend to my friends that my friends tell me has changed their sex lives and then I get to actually work with that brand. That is like an incredible moment for me. That's like a that's like a pinch me moment. And I'm saying this because one of the products that I recommend the most to people when they say, I just wish sex would last longer, is Promescent. And Promescent are also today's video sponsor. So I wanna give a big shout out and a thank you to Promescent for sponsoring today's video and also tell you a little bit about Promescent and the ways that you can use it to dramatically improve the length of your lovemaking. Promescent make a range of delay sprays. That's what they are best known for. Now, I don't actually normally endorse delay sprays because in my experience, the ones that I've seen, they're very messy. They tend to actually just completely numb you. So you can't really feel anything or even enjoy the sex. They can be transferred to your female partner so then she can't enjoy the sex and nobody ends up winning in that equation. But Promescent's products work really differently. They actually just work to take the edge off. They're not going so deep that you're going to be having sex feeling numb. You're still going to feel all of those amazing feel good feelings, but you're going to have that edge taken off that makes you feel like you're going to get to climax at any minute because you want to hold off for your female partner. And also it's a quick and easy spray, but if you want something even more convenient, particularly for traveling, they also recently launched some delay wipes, which you can just use by wiping over the shaft of the penis and just letting it sink in and do its magic and then you are good to have sex as usual 
But what it means is by taking that edge off, it's going to make you last longer so your female partner can have time to relax her brain so her vagina can get in the game so she can get to orgasm. A really big disservice that sex education does for us is to teach us that sex is all about penetration. This puts way too much pressure on people with penises to constantly have rock hard erections and it's even more pressure through porn because we see in porn these guys with seemingly large erect penises just constantly pumping away for what appears to be like sometimes hours on end. Now I can tell you to put you at ease that as someone who has actually been on a live porn set when I made my series Nadia Goes where I went deep into the world of sex and I visited all sorts of amazing sex based locations I went to a porn set and I saw for myself this is not what the sex looks like on set. There is lots of stopping and starting. There is lots of, let's say, little techniques that the men use. So I've used Viagra before, sometimes I don't. And they are taking breaks in between each shot. So they're not really hard for all that time. It's good for people with penises to know this because you shouldn't be feeling bad about yourself if you can't always get a hard penis or if you can't always maintain it. You are not a robot. You are not meant to just get hard on command and then just stay hard. Why can't I click? I'm a 38 year old woman who doesn't know how to click. That point I made would have been so much better if I had a... If I hadn't been able to click for it. <laughs> And this whole heteronormative penetration focused model of sex just reinforces this terrible idea that you need to always be hard and it's just not true. The other reason why it's such a bad model of sex is because it goes against the way that people with vulvas actually reach orgasm. A 2017 study published in the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy actually found that only 18% of people with vulvas get to orgasm via P in V sex. It is not the way to get us off and it is putting too much pressure on you to be hard and to be always penetrating. One of the best ways that you can extend the sex and take the pressure off yourself and make it more likely for your female partner to get to orgasm is to do things that don't involve penetration. One of the best things that you can do is going down on her. If you do not enjoy going down on a woman I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't empathize with you. I think it's the best personally as someone who does it. Eating out down there is great. I mean, it's a turn on for me, but look, that's just me. I mean, if you don't enjoy it, maybe there'll be a lesbian who will. Watch out guys. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we know from research that the secret to getting to the big O for many people with vulvas is oral sex. Most people with vulvas say that they would love to have more oral sex and it's a great way for you as someone with a penis to last longer in bed because you are giving yourself a little break. While you're going down on her, you are not stimulating yourself and that means that you can hold off your orgasm so that she has more time. Now I feel like I'm going backwards with these tips but I want to say something really important here about the concept of foreplay. We have this idea that foreplay is something that happens before sex and that it's kind of like something to sort of tick off, you know, so you can say you've done it, that it's something that, you know, women like to have, but it's not like super important. I think we need to do away with the word foreplay altogether because foreplay is actually just sex. And the idea that foreplay isn't sex it really reinforces this idea that sex is simply something that happens when a penis goes into a vagina. And while yes, that is sex, there are many, many other things that also constitute as sex. And when we say those other things don't count as sex, we're also invalidating all the people that have sex in ways that don't involve penetration or don't involve a penis. So let's start thinking about sex a little bit more holistically and 
Start actually focusing more on those other activities. Going down on your partner is a great way to extend sex and to extend the lovemaking, but there are many other things you can do too. Things that we normally would say are foreplay that really are just part of the sex, but they allow you as someone with a penis to stop getting yourself stimulated so that you can actually push pause on your orgasm so that your partner has more time to get to their orgasm. Some of the best things that you can do are literally caressing your partner's naked body and particularly doing things that involve touching them in teasing ways. Anticipation is so important for people with vulvas and it doesn't get acknowledged enough. In porn, we don't see any anticipation. We see, you know, a pizza guy show up to someone's house. She can't pay the bill and so she rips all her clothes off and immediately starts giving him a blowjob. <laughs> But in reality, this is just not how arousal works for people with vulvas. We need time to build that sense of anticipation and teasing is a great way to do it. And by teasing, I mean actually touch around and very close to sexual parts of her body. Touch around and very close to her vulva. Touch around her breasts. I'm talking about drawing circles around the outline of her breasts and getting close to her nipple. Getting your mouth really close to her nipple, breathing hot breath on her nipple like you're about to put it in your mouth and then not putting it in your mouth. Letting her really long for it. I'm talking about using your tongue to trace an outline around that triangle area between her legs, around her vulva so that she can feel your tongue and your breath down there so that she can long for your tongue to be in other places but don't put it there yet let her anticipate it don't go straight to the main event and let's also just stop calling penetration the main event it's all a main event and i think while we're on this note we also need to rethink this whole idea of premature ejaculation i personally don't love the term at all because i feel like it suggests that there is a right and a wrong amount of time for someone with a penis to ejaculate and honestly i think whatever amount of time it takes you to get to the point of ejaculating even if that's really really quick i think I think that's fine but I do also think that if you have a partner a partner whose pleasure and orgasm you care about which I'm going to assume you do because you're here on this channel watching this video then you do want to actually put things in place to try to hold off your orgasm so that you can keep making the sex pleasurable for her. And so using these tools and techniques is going to be a great way to do that. And by getting rid of this whole idea of premature ejaculation, you can look at products like Promescent, not as a solution to a problem, because I don't think there's a problem to be solved, but more as like a tool in your tool kit, just for you to take the edge off, not for you to fix anything that's broken, because you're not broken if you ejaculate quickly. It's just about prioritizing your partner's pleasure by taking the edge off yourself so you can really give her the attention she needs and the time she deserves in order to relax and get to the big O. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Promesson and my discount. It's all linked under the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.